The sun is shining and the day is calm, when suddenly that sunlight turns into a giant bright flash in the sky, followed by all light sources starting to go out permanently. An electromagnetic pulse, or EMP, is a burst of electromagnetic energy that can be produced by man or nature. By man, this is produced by a nuclear explosion in the atmosphere, capable of permanently damaging electrical equipment and ruining cities or even countries. It can happen due to events from the sun. Uh, sometimes uh, the sun can uh, eject plasma towards us, and that really disrupts uh, the magnetic field of uh, the Earth, and that can create a really big electric pulse, or they can happen due to events here on the Earth, uh, for example, due to nuclear bombs. With scientists not being the only to know how to create the cause and effect of an EMP, it has been known for decades as a tool that can be used against us in war. Since the first uh, nuclear test in the 1940s, scientists did detect electromagnetic pulses and uh, the electric equipment near the test was disrupted. So the government uh, has uh, reported these cases to occur. Survivalists that live away from the main cities have been preparing for this eventual societal collapse. Guys and I were uh, at work talking about uh, an electric magnetic pulse, and uh, I had no idea what that was. And uh, they uh, told me about some books they were reading, and uh, this is what got me seriously prepping was books like One Second After by William Forston and then going home by A American. The thought of an EMP and reading these books uh, made me um, start preparing for uh, any kind of emergency, really. Any of this stuff will be useful in, in any emergency, but specifically in case an EMP happened. they will probably be fried if there was an EMP. So I bought these EMP bags off of Amazon, and anything you store in these bags will be protected from an EMP. These uh, wind-up type uh, radios and flashlights. The ham radio, you'll be able to stay in uh, contact with authorities, also get news and information, and I keep these in the EMP bag also. Night vision goggles off of uh, Amazon uh, would be particularly useful for at night with security, since you won't have any lights around your house. Lots of canned food at home and water storage. Your power is gonna be compromised. Having a generator, spare fuel for it, and extra water is very important uh, for your survival. After learning about an EMP, I felt like it was necessary to take advantage in my own hands and get my Jeep set. So, I got my very own survival kit prepped with emergency drinking water, a first aid kit filled with a whole bunch of gadgets to help not just me, but the people around me in case of an emergency. And a portable first aid kit so that I can go on the go with safety. For Canyons News, I'm Natalie Dodds.